Hello guys and welcome to part 13-2. Um, if you did not see part 13-1, you're going to have no idea what's going on. So, yeah, you might should watch that. Anyways, um, last time we got it to where you can select your theme and it will save the package name of that theme into shared preferences. And now we're actually going to use that theme. So the first thing you need is to get the a theme utility class that I've created and I will link it in the video description and it is theme tools Java and when you whenever you get to it just choose raw and you will get it in its raw format and do control A control C and you can paste it directly into your project and then make sure that you change your package name to whatever your package name is and then you'll have all these theme utilities uh... the first thing let me just go through some of these uh... the first one get all themes is actually not going to be used in this example but it's very useful if you want to do a custom dialog where you select your theme see we did a theme uh, a dialog based off of the pick at pick intent so if you wanted to make your own you can use this to get all of the um, icon themes icon theme packages and then the get scale factor that is how much the icon is scaled basically the get resource name that's whenever it's getting a default image out of the icon pack it's um instead of taking the icon um scaling it down adding an icon back adding an icon mask and all that all the manipulation some of the icons are pre-made and so this is this will grab the pre-made icon if it exists and then the get icon back and mask resource name uh, gets the icon back, the icon mask, and the icon upon, which is all used for theming an icon. And I want to show you a little bit on how icon packs work. Um, well, so there's this uh, icon pack I found on GitHub, and as you can see in the res drawable dash x. XHDPI, there's all these apps, so like apps underscore Facebook image. And so this would be an example of a pre made icon um, that would be found when calling get resource name. And then if it doesn't find the resource name for that, if it doesn't find a pre made icon, then it will use the icon back, the icon mask, and the icon upon. Let me show you kind of like what those look like. So an icon back would kind of look like this. It goes beneath, underneath the icon. The icon mask, it cuts out the icon. As you can see, the areas on the outside are shaded in black. So we'll cut out those areas. And the icon upon goes on top of the whole icon. Okay, so let me go back into our project. And then I do want to add uh, these two method uh, methods I've already added um, you can find this in the bit in the uh, github I will link it so if you go to s13 base launcher it's uh, it's in tools.java we've already created this class for num to dp so just copy the get resize bitmap and get resize matrix that will be used later on well basically right now because because whenever you go into basic launcher s13 basic launcher the github uh, you can find part 13 notes which I'll also have linked in the video description so inside there's a method called theme packs go ahead and copy that and place it inside of main activity I would do it after after set packs alright so we have this method here it's a huge method 
and you're like what the heck is this so yes it is sort of project dependent so I'm gonna go through this a little bit um, so finally icon size icon size is um, how big the bitmap bitmaps are um, that are created for the icon theme for the icons and it's using tools.numtdp uh, in order to this is the class file tools that we created uh, tools.numtdp is uh, so we can get a um, the same looking size for all screen sizes and then uh, theme res is if it can well theme res is the resources for the theme package and then res pack name is actually from our preferences that we saved off so as you can see it's doing global preferences that get string with the key of theme which we saved earlier and then icon resource um, that's the string icon resource in order to find a default um, a pre-made icon so if the pre-made icon exists it will place it into here okay and then int res uh, the I mean these things are just used later on for the theming part and then scale factor that is um, how much the icon is scaled that's a part of theming and that is inside well let me show you I did not show you this if you go into like an icon theme in res xml there's usually an app filter .xml. inside of here it has all the um, attributes for the icon theme so there's icon upon this is located in uh, the res folder and it's called icon upon same with icon back and same with icon mask if it exists and then the scale factor is right here then these are like the pre-made icons so this is a well this one like is an e example of a pre-made icon of action launcher alright so that's where it's getting it from it's actually going through that XML file and finding those attributes and all all that stuff so okay and then there's these and then here's where it finds the theme resource for the theme package it calls pm dot get resource for application and then it, if that is not null then it tries to find the icon back the icon mask the icon front and all that okay and then later on we have all these canvases that are used to draw on for uh, the theme um, and then and then the back this is where we're getting the bitmap for the icon back the icon mask and the icon front okay and then down here is we've got the for loop for all the packages and it's gonna go through and theme all of them so icon resource is the resource for pre-made icon see it's calling the theme tools which is a class that we you copied in your project dot get resource name and it's adding the component and as you can see this is uh, the same structure as in the app filter dot xml okay and then and then it's manipulating the icon and all that masking it adding the all that all sorts of stuff and then at the end it sets everything to null all right all right so we haven't even used this yet so what we're going to do is well first of all let's modify the set packs method now let's make it so you can pass in a boolean of uh, init so this if it's the first time through this application it's the first startup then um, we'll we'll pass on true for init and let me show you where we're gonna use that so if init then we're going to set up the drawer adapter um, 
the click listener, long click listener, and all that. Okay, and then, but if if it's not, well, if it's not, then we are going to first set the packages in the drawer adapter object, and we are going to do packs for adapter equals packs, and then. Well, I forgot to add the else. See so the else, it does this. And then after that, it's going to notify that the drawer adapter changed and it's going to update all the icons. So, drawer adapter object dot notify data set invalidated. Okay, and then we haven't themed it yet, but we're actually going to theme it inside of the setbacks method. So right after it sorts all the apps, let's do it right after that. Uh, we can then call theme packs. All right, and then let's go fix these errors. Uh, there's these set packs, and it for init. Well, this is whenever the on receive we use this pack receiver earlier on in the series to detect when a, a new app was installed or something like that. And so it's not the first time running it because it runs it at the very beginning of this application. So we will say a pass and false. Okay, and then at the top of the application, this is the first time running setback. So we will pass in true. Okay, and then let's go into the on activity result. And for the request code of pick theme, well, we are going to call set packs right after that and a boolean of false alright so now let me test it out real quick and show you how this works so I'm going to press run save blah 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 alright so this is on a different device than I usually run on so the background is black so you can't really see the pull up where you can just pull these up um, so so you can see these are just normal icons uh, but now I'm going to long press on the home screen you'll see this uh, pop up come up I'll click on the icon theme and I have two icon themes on here um, the MIUI theme I'm going to select that one and now when I pull up from below you can see all these icons are themed and here the settings this is an example of a pre-made icon you can just tell by how it's different from everything else and and then let me just show you one more icon theme just to show you that it's all working so I'm going to use the steel plates icon theme and now when you look below you can see it is themed in the steel plates icon theme so this type of code is stuff that is very hard to find so I hope that you will find it of some use somehow <laughs> and uh, I hope that you're if you do create a launcher that this will help a lot so thank you for watching this video I hope you've gained a lot of useful knowledge out of this and I hope that you will um, subscribe and like this video and yeah thanks for watching if you like this video um, check out my some of my apps uh, I have lucid launcher lucid launcher pro and um, working on a web browser lucid browser so thanks for watching guys